Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. I have just received a new indicator box set and it is the Fu Manchu set. I've got a fondness for these memories. It's been a long while since I've seen them but I have uh, a memory, strong memory of watching these with my dad way back uh, on BBC2 uh, decades ago and loving them and uh, I've often thought of these movies and I'm really happy to have picked them up and of course I've delved straight into the first one which is number 201 on the indicator range and that is The Face of Fu Manchu. Now these um, box sets that have multiple movies, this one is five, come in these little card dividers which are really pretty cool uh, giving you all the details on the back as we normally would and the face of Fu Manchu is introducing us to this murderous megalomaniacal madman played by Christopher Lee Fu Manchu as the movie starts we see him being beheaded uh, in a prison and that is how we are introduced to our main character and uh, this is something it came out in 1965 it's quite prevalent because it has uh, a feeling of hammer horror about it a, a feeling of James Bond early James Bond about it and a feeling of Sherlock Holmes all kind of wrapped up into one three things that I particularly love so it's a no-brainer that even now I'm still enamored by uh, these kind of movies and this one we see Fu Manchu being beheaded it's a thing that would be repeated and you only live twice with the main character being killed off uh, and, and there's more references to Bond or things that would happen in later Bonds in this movie as well and we are quickly introduced to Nyland Smith who is played by Nigel Green wonderful role um, and he is a, a kind of Sherlock Holmes character here and he is on the trail of Fu Manchu after having seen him being beheaded he starts to see little remnants of Fu Manchu as people turn up strangled round about his city this is in the early 20s he starts to notice just little things that, that don't sit quite right with him and starts to believe that maybe it wasn't Fu Manchu who was uh, beheaded at the start of this movie and of course it isn't uh, this mega villain is back with a an elaborate plot um, using the Thames or, or close to as his base of operations his uh, plan is to basically create a poison that can cr uh, kill a large quotient of people and we see him testing this drug out later on uh, on a small town which is quite an elaborate scene that's fun that again uh, reminded me a lot of the attack in Fort Knox and Goldfinger but basically we have our heroes and we have our villain the heroes are typical hero characters the villain is somewhat enigmatic somewhat enjoyable you have a kind of cat and mouse game between these characters that are all enjoyable all characters who I liked I didn't feel like I wanted the good guys to win I wasn't quite morally sure about editing uh, on the bad guy to win out either but that's how the movie feels. Now, it does has uh, a lot of interesting set pieces in it. A lot uh, seem a little bit superfluous to the storytelling, but they add a great deal of enjoyment to uh, the movie. There's an attack on a museum at one point where we have our heroes fighting off uh, several antagonists and it's just delightfully fun. It doesn't really make anything in the, in the master plot of things, but it does have an incredibly fun moment to it. Uh, even the sound effects here, when someone lands a punch, it's a sound effect of a slap. So it adds this level of levity to this actual scene as it plays out. Christopher Lee is very minimalist in the way that he acts in this one. Very, very stoic, very careful with his motions and the way he moves, but somehow creates a larger than life character, the kind of super villain that you long to see in a James Bond movie. And with our Sherlock Holmes and Watson characters on the case, they are destined to track down and battle wits with this super villain. It's very perfunctory. You know, it's just all about the production values, 
all about the actors who all do particularly great work. It's all about the level of fun you get out of this. It's a nostalgic kick. You know, like I said, it has the Holmes and Watson. It has the Hammer feeling around the production standards and of course Christopher Lee. And it has this James Bond feeling about it. You know, a, a large grandiose villain trying to do something that is just bonkers. You know, it's not just about a small crime, it's about a large crime. I like some of the moments in this a lot, um, like the way when a scientist's daughter is being attacked, it's portrayed uh, in a really fun and almost kind of horrorish manner. There is a moment where Fu Manchu addresses the nation on a radio, which is, is kind of melodramatic, over the top, but really ominous and threatening at the same time and it's just a whole lot of fun in this one. I'm looking forward to delving further to the, the Fu Manchu series and I will be going there soon but for me the face of Fu Manchu was a hell of a lot of fun. It was nice to see Christopher Lee um, really going for it in this one but in a kind of restrained fashion. I, I really did like Nigel Green as Smith. I thought he was a wonderful counterpart to Christopher Lee's Fu Manchu and I remember that character being a little bit more prevalent, a little bit more uh, over the top and I think that's what we're going to get uh, with the further movies, hopefully. I would love to know your thoughts on the face of Fu Manchu or the series as a whole. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.